Welcome to Agawam Open for Business. I'm your host, Lee Danik. I'm here at 543 Springfield Street in Agawam in front of Nina's Cookies. We're here to meet the owners and learn about their business. So let's go inside. We're inside Nina's Cookies now, and I am here with the two owners. This is Mary Ann Whitehead and Lucille Mazza. They are sisters and they are co-owners of this business. So let's get to know them and a little bit more about their business. Thank you for uh, letting us into your business today. Yeah. Um, Mary Ann, I've got a question. Why Nina's if your name is Mary Ann and you're Lucille? <laughs> uh, Nina was our mother's name. And uh, when we were searching for a name, we searched and searched and searched, and one day my niece said to me, why don't you just name it Nina's Cookies after your grandma? And that's exactly how it happened. Um, Makes sense to me. Yeah, she was the instrumental in uh, the cookies that we make here. You know, the signature S cookie is her cookie. So that's how it all started. Speaking of started, when was the business started? Uh, the business started uh, April of 2009. Um, after having it in my home for many years, um, we decided we outgrew the house and needed to get out of there. So we um, opened up a store. We opened up a store. And tell me, what do you specifically do here? I specifically help with the baking. I do the baking. Um, in the beginning, I did all the baking. Um, now I've hired a, a baker to help me. And uh, I do most of the shopping. I do most of the searching on the internet for different types of things that we need for the store, that sort of thing. Lucille, what do you do here? Well, I'm a big help here. I help everybody in anything and everything they need done. I help do the our sugar cookie line that we have. I do all the setup, the printing, and talk to the customers on that to help them decide on what they want. Um, and I do some of the book work and I help my sister shop, and if I need to roll, I roll cookies or I dip or whatever, or if I need. Whatever I, it takes. Whatever it takes to get, get it done. And what's your formal education for either of you, uh, for baking or for the bookkeeping? Yeah, yeah. I, not, I was self-taught. I just taught myself and um, at home. I watched my mom and do her, her baking and then watched, I had a sister that baked also that she watched we used to bake with her also also mm -hmm. so yeah it runs in the family yeah it does do you have yeah. any children i do i have a son and a daughter do they like uh, to bake uh no <laughs> <laughs> not really they haven't shown any interest yet they like but to eat it though. they like to eat it but they no they're not really bakers <laughs> lucia what about you formal training in any way none with it come to baking, anything I've learned, I've learned from my sister. She just tells me what to do and I just do it. <laughs> um, as to the books and keeping track of our inventory and stuff like that, um, just experience from my previous job that I had. I worked in accounting for over 30 years, so I took that knowledge and brought it here to help run the business. So what's your product line? What's, what products do you make on a regular basis? Well, we make our Italian cookies on a you know on a regular basis. We alternate it. When as, you say as, Italian cookies, what kind? Well, we make anything from our signature S cookie to we make coconut macaroons. We make our non-perel cookies, chocolate non-perels. We make a butter dip cookie, and all of our cookies are made with real butter. They're not you know. We don't skimp on the ingredients. We use all fresh ingredients. And what yeah. other products do you make for the store? Yeah, we make, a, a, our second biggest line is our sugar cookie line. Um, it's decorated, they're all hand decorated sugar cookies that we do. We have a whole line of them. We mm -hmm. probably have thousands of them now. But Would you make a custom cookie for someone to order? Say they, yeah. say there was a company that had a logo. Yes, we, we do logo cookies. For, for you know, big companies, small companies, we can do a lot, a little. Um, we can do custom, people most of the time will come in and want a custom cookie done. They'll want certain colors, certain designs. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll bring like us for a, a wedding? Correct. They'll bring us a picture of something they want, and our decorator, Rebecca, is very, very good with doing it. And when you get a, a sweet attack, 
<laughs> what is it that you reach for? I like to go for our biscottis, like an anisette biscotti or chocolate hazelnut biscotti. Um, that's that's my go-to most mm -hmm. of the time. You, Lucille, your snack attack. What is uh, it? It's usually my mother's uh, S cookie, the Italian frosted. I love that one. It's my favorite. And if not, I'll reach for a cupcake too. <laughs> oh, do you have a favorite cupcake? Uh, my salt, the salted caramel one is probably my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was eyeing that a little while ago. That yeah, pretty that's good. pretty yummy. Yeah. <laughs> what time do you get up in the morning and start baking? Uh, we're not a bakery that has to get up very early to bake. So we normally get in here around 8 o'clock. Um, normally we, uh, things are done by 8.39. We have everything out. We don't have a big morning walk-in business but um I'm hoping to change that but well yeah, let's say I woke I walked in at 8 30 in the morning mm -hmm. and I wanted something sweet what would I find on a regular basis you would always find our scones we always have our, our uh, scones which is cranberry uh, lemon blueberry we have maple walnut we have sometimes a mocha chip mm -hmm. um we also carry cranberry muffins uh cranberry orange muffins with walnuts, and we carry our blueberry muffins. So we always have those. And we always have our Italian cookies. They're always, we always have those. Our biscottis, we always have, too. That's something we always carry. And how many flavors of biscotti do you have? I'm taking a look at some um, of them up there. I think I have right now about eight or nine different flavors of biscotti. Uh, anything from a chocolate to anisette. We have um, cranberry almond, cherry almond, Rum raisin, vanilla. So we, we, we carry a lot. We, and we and in the winter we bring a few more in, like a pumpkin or a a cinnamon. A seasonal. Yeah, a seasonal one. Other than you two being employees, <laughs> how many other employees do you have, Lucio? We have three other employees. We have Emily as a decorator. Rebecca is our cookie decorator and um, our head decorator, I should say. And she does our sugar cookies and decorates all our cakes. And we have a new baker, Renee, and uh, she's our baker. So that's the three of us and the two of us. and Producing running. a lot of really good stuff. <laughs> Producing a lot of real good stuff, yeah. We're and you've got some new product lines coming in that you're going to be adding in the future? Yes. We're, like what? We're going to uh, add pies, more seasonal pies, um, you know, like fruit pies, cream pies, um, see how they sell. We'll make them in small form to, to start, and then it, we'll see how they go. Mm -hmm. um, we're also going to make uh, individual tiramisus, um, you know, for people that just want to grab and go, kind of a dessert. Um, mousse cups, we do trifles to go. Well, we have lemon squares lemon for the squares. season that are seasonal for us. Um, cupcakes. Cupcakes. We always we have our cupcakes. And our cupcakes will change in the fall. Um, we, we're doing summer ones now, but we'll change them up in the fall. We have some new ideas for some new cupcakes, like a maple bacon mm. wall, uh, maple bacon cupcake with uh, caramelized bacon. <laughs> And probably some local maple syrup, I would of assume. Of course, of yeah. course, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. I think the individual little tiramisus or mousse cups, I think those are wonderful because somebody yes. having company over the weekend, all of a sudden, oh my God, what am I going to make? Yes. Come in and have little individual yes. desserts. And they can them. order them at any time. All they have to do is call us. Uh, usually we, we don't need a, a lot of time. We'd like a few days but if uh, to make sure mm -hmm. we have all the ingredients. But um, yes, we can usually make those things in a few days for anyone so if they call us ahead of time even though we if we don't have it in the store just call us and we can usually make it for you we'll try to accommodate them for anything that they would like so yeah. if someone comes in and says can you make me an apple pie sure we can make the apple yeah. pie exactly you know so we're very accommodating to our customers so you do it all we try <laughs> we try so are both of you from Agawam or where are you from and we're originally, you know. yeah, we're originally from Springfield. We lived mm -hmm. in Springfield up until I got married, and I moved to West Springfield, and then from West Springfield I moved to Aguam. I've been here 30 plus years, um, so I raised my kids here. Both my children went to school here in Aguam. So there was never a question about where you were going to open the bakery? No, I, li I wanted it close to home to make it convenient and easy, you know, when we, when we opened it. 
it was it was it was good for us. Yep. Lucille, what about you? Yeah, again, lived in Springfield, grew up there, um, went to school in Springfield, and moved to Agawam about uh, thirty years ago. So, so about the same time. Yeah, she's probably a little ahead of me, but yeah. um, yep, I moved here thirty years ago, and I really love the town. It's convenient, and um, you know, it was convenient for work or whatever, mm-hmm. and I just like the small town feel of it. So when we put the store here, it was nice to keep it local so and you both get along obviously yes yes for the most part that helps that helps <laughs> yes for the most yes. of it we yeah. try we try <laughs> we all have our moments as yeah. we say <laughs> so i understand you're going to be doing everyday cakes tell me about that yes everyday cakes they are going to come in vanilla flavor and chocolate flavor for last minute buyers that are in a rush um, our cakes are three layers and two layers of filling. And if anybody wanted any other flavor, which we have every flavor of our cupcakes you can get in a cake, you just need to call us and we can ac- try to accommodate you on that. We also are going to have cheesecakes, and again, the cheesecakes can be bought just like the cakes, um, a whole cheesecake by the slice or a half a cheesecake. So we try to accommodate people that don't need as many slices or such a big cake or cheesecake. So I want to thank you both for letting us come in today and invade your business and take away some of your time. And I really, really appreciate it. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. So everyone, I thank you for watching. Stop in in Tanina's Cookies sometime when you have a snack attack. And thank you for joining us on Agawam Open for Business. (music) 